The Life and Works of Jamaica Kincaid. She was born on May 25, 1949, in St. John's, Antigua. She is considered one of the world's most important Caribbean writers. Kincaid had a troubling childhood. At first, her and her mother had a great relationship. They were very close and had an inseparable bond. Her father, Roderick Potter, was a carpenter and cabinet maker. He was constantly working, so Jamaica didn't see her father very often, but they still had a strong relationship. When Jamaica was about nine years old, her mother gave birth to three boys all within years apart. This altered the relationship between her and her mother forever. Kincaid was neglected by her mother from then on. She was always put to work and treated like she was worth nothing. In her mother's mind, her values didn't matter. This gave Kincaid a heavy heart. She was eventually taken out of school due to her family's financial situations. Her brothers were only attending school despite the fact that she was a top student in her class. Through her schooling, she found her love for reading and writing. In 1966, at just 17 years old, Kincaid was sent on her way to the United States. Where, you may ask? New York City. Her mother sent her to become an au pair, which is a young foreign person who helps with housework or childcare in exchange for room, board, and money. Kincaid was then requested to send the money back home to her struggling family. She didn't obey and sent no money, but instead kept it for herself in order to try to build a new life for her. She cut all ties with her family, and this made her feel truly free in that she could be whoever she wanted to. Being in the Big Apple made her feel lonely, and when she wanted to change, she quit her job as an au pair and won a scholarship in New Hampshire for photography. This was her first big step. She then returned to New York and began looking for jobs while in poverty. In poverty, Kincaid explains a part of her poverty being as I was very thin because I had no money to eat properly, and because of what little money I had, I used to buy clothes, as said from an article. From the New Yorker, she also then goes on to explain how living in a one-story house made her think from a different perspective. She couldn't afford a lot of things, but she did make of what she could. In 1972, she changed her name to Jamaica Kincaid, which was originally named Elaine Richardson Potterson. The reason for her doing was she wanted to write under a different name, and she didn't want her family or anyone to know it was actually her. She then also started to apply to many jobs, and finally got accepted as an editor for the New Yorker. She was a staff writer from 1974 to 2001. Her writing often depicted her Caribbean culture and was regularly featured on the column "Talk of the Town." Soon after, she collected her short stories and put them together in a book called "At the Bottom of the River." In 1979, Kincaid married Alan Shawn. The son of her editor, she then later published her first novel, Annie John, in May 1985. This novel depicts her struggling relationship with her mother. Kincaid then goes on to publish 16 books in total, ranging from autobiography, memoir, fiction, and essays. Jamaica Kincaid goes on to have two kids, Annie and Harold. She then divorces her husband years later in 2001. Her most recent book is called "See You Then," which was published in 2013. She currently lives in Vermont and teaches English at the African and African American Studies Department at Harvard University. She is currently 65 and has a passion for gardening, which is sometimes shown through her writing. Jamaica Kincaid was an author who expressed how she felt through her writing. She has taught people not to give up when times are tough. She inspires people not to give up when they are not happy and to keep trying. Kincaid describes herself as just a writer, not a feminist, black woman, or woman. Kincaid has earned a place in the literary world for her highly personal, stylistic, and honest writings.